Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's quick tip for Element over WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at the latest update and a key feature that's been added in this update, and that's the ability to create full width columns. Now up until now this hasn't been a native feature inside Elementor so there's been various workarounds to get this to work. So it's great to see this now being added as a native function. So in this video I'm just going to show you quickly and briefly how to access this new feature and how easy it is to use it in your designs. So in this example I'm using the Generate Press, the free version of that theme. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through and take a look at how we can create a page and how we can override any limitations that the theme may have by the way that Elementor actually implements this full width. So I've got a page created in front of me, nothing special about it, just no sidebar. There's the header and footer as, expect, as you'd expect to see. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to switch Elementor on so we can start working inside that. So I'll click to add that. That will then load up the editor and you can see we've got a, a typical layout. We've got the area in the main section that allows us to start creating new sections or add a template which is part of the Elementor editor. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click add a new section. I'm going to set this to be full width or set this to be a single column I should say. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop an image into that. And then I'm going to choose an image that I want to work with. So I've got this one set up. I'm going to insert that into there and you can see we've got as we'd expect which is just the image sitting inside the layout. But what we can do now is if we come up to the section tab and we click on there, we've now got a new option that says stretch section. Now this is going to use JavaScript to override any theme limitations. So once we enable that, that will then go full width. So we just switch that on and that will go full width, but you notice it hasn't gone full width completely. That's because we still set the content width to be boxed. So if we set that now to be full width, that will override it. And the final thing we need to do to get rid of these borders around the outside edge is where we've got column gap and it's set to default. We just come down to that and we say no gap. And that will get rid of that gap completely. And now if we save our page and we can preview it, we're going to find we now have a proper full width section inside our theme, overriding whatever the theme limitation may be. So let's just come up and let's just say, let's go to the page, let's view the page. That'll jump over and you can see we now have a proper full width section. And if I resize this to make it smaller, you can see everything scales as you'd expect it to inside the design. So that's how easy it is now to add this full width ability, override the theme limitations, all inside Elementor itself. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date and give the video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Read everything you post and try to answer as many questions as possible. And if you want to know more about Elementor, I recommend checking out Elementor.com and also checking out the Elementor Facebook group where there's a lot of great people that are offering a lot of help and support and advice on using Elementor and how we can expand upon the already great feature set available in this free plugin. Well, until next time, take care.